I can't stop, won't stop, never gonna stop singing your praise, singing your praise. I can't stop, won't stop, never gonna stop singing your praise, singing your praise. I can't stop, won't stop, never gonna stop singing your praise. Dear God, Hallie is a great big sister. I mean, yeah, I would like to do more stuff with her, but she's always busy. Not in a bad way, just that she's always got stuff going on. But she always takes me to school, checks on me, and is always there when I need her. So, when I found out she was worried about the volleyball tournament, I had a plan. I even got my friends in on it too. We could not wait to see her face. So, when she left to go to the tournament, well, I think me and my friends put her worries at ease. God, thanks for an awesome big sister like Hallie. And thanks for my friends. Oh, and you, God, you're the best cheerleader of all. Good night, Sabrina. Hey everyone, good morning. How are you doing? This month is all about kindness. But what kindness is all about, you see, kindness is showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. We know what kindness looks like because we know how kind God has been to us. Amen. Take a look at what the Apostle Paul wrote in the books of Ephesians. This was part of the letter Paul wrote to the people in the church in the town of Ephesians, right? It's really important for us to show kindness to the people around us, of course. But that's not always easy, is it? It helps us we can remember where our kindness comes from in the first place. Of course, Bible. Children, open your Bible today. Book of Ephesians chapter 4, verses 32. Our sermon title is, Would be humble, be kind. Amen? Let's go. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. Amen. <gasps> Caleb, you broke my toy. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. You always say that. Well, I am sorry. Well, that won't fix my toy. What's wrong, children? He broke my toy. I told him not to touch it. I said I was sorry. You always say you're sorry. Okay, okay, children. So Caleb broke your toy. But that's not all he did. He ate my ice cream, he went into my room without asking, and he scribbled on my songbook. Well, I am sorry. Sophia, can you think of anything you have done wrong? Well, I forgot to make up my bed. I lost my homework, and I didn't do the dishes. Yes, it's not easy to remember our mistakes. 
But are you sorry? When we are truly sorry, he reminds us at Ephesians 4, 32. It says, God freely forgave you. Sophia, what does it mean to freely forgive? Okay, Caleb, I forgive you. It's so important for us to show kindness, even when it's tough, even when people don't really deserve it. Even in those times, we can choose to be kind with God's help. After all, God himself gave us the best every good example of kindness. That's why be kind to others because of God is kind to your children. God sent Jesus to be our savior because of what Jesus is on the cross. We know that God will forgive us for every time we mess up. That's why we can always trust God to be show us kindness. And we can choose every day to show His kindness to other people as well. We have a really cool memory verse this month that comes from another of Paul's letters, Colossians. It's Colossians chapter 3, verses 12. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. Did you hear that? Put on your tender mercy and kindness as they wear your clothes. You have to choose to put on kindness. You can choose the way you're going to treat other people every day. You can choose to treat others the way you're be treated. You can do that when you remember how kind God has been to you. So when you're having a hard time with someone, you don't have to wait for them to apologize. You can make the first move, treat them with kindness. Just like God has shown you children. When you don't feel like being kind, you, you can ask God for help. Think about how kind God was to you when He sent Jesus for you. That will help us you remember to show kindness even when it's difficult in tough times. Amen? Yeah, let's ask God for helping right now. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this important reminder of why we should treat others with kindness. You showed kindness to us when you sent Jesus to be our Savior. Please help us to follow your example and show your loves to people around us. Help us our words and actions to show them how valuable they are. Even when it's difficult, we love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Choose to be kind even when you don't want to be. Let's head to our small groups and talk about different ways you can show kindness. Bye! We'll see you next week!